Nikki. Gentlemen, there is a campaign advertisement paid for by Mr. Cox that was released earlier this year that in a way attacks both of you. So here is part of that advertisement. San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner got the city to overpay for a high rise riddled with asbestos. The deal enriched a big campaign donor. <clears throat> Mr. Faulkner, is Mr. Cox correct? Did you overpay for a high rise that benefited a campaign donor? You have 60 seconds. Well, look, your opponent, no, he's not, and opponents are going to attack you. Look, that's, that's part of what happens uh, in politics. So not every project is going to go well when you're mayor or when you're governor. And it's about taking steps to actually help, and in this case, uh, making sure that we stopped the payment on the building that we found was with asbestos, making sure we had an independent review. It's about fixing problems. That's what leadership is all about. And that's in marked contrast to what we've seen from Gavin Newsom, particularly when our Employment Development Department has $30 billion worth of fraud. And as we are standing here tonight, there's still a million Californians who can't get their unemployment checks. And so that's not fixing a problem. That's not stepping up and to make some fix. I'm going to ensure that fixing our unemployment department is our number one technology improvement when I'm governor. We can do it. We're going to do it. Californians are depending on us to do it. Follow up. Is the campaign ad true or false? 30 seconds. It's, it's false. Mr. Cox? Well, I, I'm sorry. I have to take issue with it, that. Let, let, me, let me ask yeah. you the question. The response. Here's yeah. the response to that, and then we'll follow up. The Faulkner campaign put out a statement calling out your campaign for burning ca cash and losing landslide elections. Is that a fair assessment of your campaign? You have 60 seconds. Listen, I got into politics as a businessman because I saw corruption. And I saw corruption on both sides. And I made a vow to myself that I was going to get involved to get integrity and good management practices back into our political leadership. I look at our political leadership exemplified by Gavin Newsom, and I can't believe the corruption and the mismanagement that's gone on. So I pledge to every California voter, Republican, Democrat, Independent, or whatever, that I'm going to call out corruption wherever I see it. The facts are that this building was purchased with a, a campaign donor that had a ma major interest in it, and it was discovered that it's full of asbestos and it's going to cost the city $115 million to correct. It was a horrible deal. It shouldn't have been done. I think the mayor acknowledges it shouldn't have been done. But, you know, that's what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. We can get decent management. We can get somebody who's had 40 years in business, a successful business delivering results. Or we can stick with the politicians who, Mr. Cox, frankly, do bad deals. Mr. Cox, thank you. Mr. Kiley. That campaign ad, in a way, takes a swipe at elected officials like yourself, suggesting that what California needs right now is not another politician, but a business leader. Do you agree with that? You have 60 seconds. Well, I think we certainly do need a lot more business leaders in California government running our state agencies. But one of the problems is that you get the top talent from uh, the business world who come in and be put in charge of the EDD or any of the other number of dysfunctional agencies we have. And what they'll discover is they can't run it the same way they run, as a, run a business. There are political barriers, whether it's arcane civil service rules or the collective bargaining that's layered on top of that, that get in the way of actually using the agency to have a customer service mentality. And so I've been in the legislature for five years. I know exactly how broken our state government is. And I think I know on day one how we can go about fixing it. And one of the central things that we have to do is just end this era of corruption in California. What has broken our state government is that we have a state capital that is entirely controlled by lobbyists and special interests. I see it every day, and we all got a glimpse of it at that infamous dinner that Gavin Newsom had with lobbyists last year. So I'm the only legislator in California, I think the only elected official at the state level, who refuses all funding from lobbyists and special interests. I'm 100% citizen-backed. And that is the kind of cultural change in our capital that we need if we're going to turn California around.